hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is abiola and in today's video i will be sharing a tutorial on how i made this beautiful dress for my friend yes you heard me right for my friend is not my size okay the bust of the person who owns this dress is 41 why mine is 38 and the waist of the person who owns this dress is 32 why mine is 29 30 i just interchange it like that but 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 guys i just decided to wear it she gave me permission to wear it just to show you guys what it looks like when i was done making the dress see the way i slayed the dress you think i was heading out with the way i'm dressed but no i'm going nowhere i just decided to wear heel and carry my bag so that it looks more sophisticated okay so that being said i'm definitely making one for myself let's get straight into today's video the first thing to note is how to fold your fabric okay divide your bust by four and add 1.5 inch allowance or any allowance that suits you the other thing i'll be doing is marking my starting line i'll mark my starting line because this fabric is not really equal and i don't want to have an even measurement so i'll mark a starting line the next thing i'm going to be taking is the bust point of the owner of this dress and her bust point is 10 inches which i'm marking okay when i'm done with that i'll use my ruler to connect the point after which i'll go ahead and mark her waist measurement her waist is 17 plus 0.5 inch allowance for joining to the lower part of this dress i'll mark 17.5 inches after connecting that with my ruler i'll go ahead to use a scissors to trim the the edge of the part that i no longer need after doing that her shoulder is 17 inches 17 divided by 2 gives 8.5 and i just marked 8.5 the next step is to create our neckline i'm working with three inches i'll mark three inches there and at the other edge i'll mark 3.5 inches i don't want it to be too choky so i'm going to do 3.5 inches at this area and i'll go ahead and use my curved ruler to connect the points in order to make this very easy and quick we're also going to mark the back neckline on this part and our back neckline is one inches and that is exactly what i am marking after which i will connect it straight to that three inch point using my curved ruler guys this is what we're going to do. we're going to use this to cut out the back first before we decide or before we end up trimming out the front neckline as well as the back armhole and the front armhole just follow me step by step and you're going to get a very very good result the next step is to come down from the shoulder by one inch our shoulder is not straight hence why we are coming down by one inch and that one inch that we came that we're going to connect that to our neckline our three inch neck width we're gonna use we're gonna use my ruler right now and connect to that point the next step is to calculate what her armhole will be and i use this formula bust divided by six plus 1.5 inches her bust is 41 divided by six plus 1.5 inches we get 8.33 but i'm going to use 8.5 i'll just round it up to 8.5 and from the shoulder the slant i'm going to mark 8.5 from the shoulder slant i marked 8.5 but from the neckline because we came down from our shoulder by one inch i'm going to mark 9.5 just to form a straight line okay you could just form your straight line without going through the hassle of measuring 9.5 at the other edge but I just do that just to get my straight line so 8.5 from the shoulder slant okay so i'll go ahead and connect that now and that forms my armhole line or upper chest line the next step is to confirm what i have on my shoulder line and mark the same thing on my armhole line and you know i have 8.5 and that's what i mark just to form a straight line we're about to form our armhole curve now so i'll connect that point to the one i marked on the shoulder line the next step is to take half of the armhole okay half of the armhole you know our armhole is 8.5 in length so half of it is 4.25 and i'm going to mark that that's what i marked and i'll go in to get my front armhole i'll go in by 0 0.5 inches before i go in with my curved ruler i'll have to mark her bust divided by four her bust is 41 divided by four which is 10.25 i'll mark that on the armhole line and 
I'll go in with my curved ruler and connect the armhole from the shoulder line to that 0.5 inch that we went in to the bust line. So I'll quickly do that now. I'm still going to mark our back armhole here as well so that we use this particular fabric to cut the back part. We'll trace out the back part first after which we will now trace out the front part exactly what i told you when i was marking the neckline so when i'm done the back i'm the difference is that you don't you're not going in by 0 0.5 okay you will just go out like this can you see so i'm going to go now and use my curved ruler to connect from that point and just join it okay that's just the difference between the front and the back the neckline and the armhole so I'm going to go ahead now and add my allowance and also do the remaining things I need to do. Now, I'll go ahead and add 1.5 inch allowance. This person wants allowance, a lot of allowance so that she can adjust the clothes as she pleases if she adds weight. So, for the waist, her waist is 32.5 divided by 2 which is 8.125 and that's what I just marked. After which, I'll add allowance of 1.5 inches. Can you see that? Then I'll go ahead and add one inch for that. We're going to add that to this outfit. So I'll go ahead and connect that point. Guys, our top is already formed though. It's already formed. So I'm just going to go ahead now and connect that. So I'll go ahead and bring the other fabric so we can cut out our back. For the back, the first thing I'm going to start with is to mark out my zip allowance. I'm going to mark out 1.5 inches from the beginning to the end of this fabric. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to connect that with my meter row. Then I'm going to align the front part on the zip allowance part. I'm going to align that on that line. Make sure everything lays nice and flat. So here's what we're going to do guys initially i wanted to use 1.5 inches as my zipper allowance but i changed my mind but just let's just watch what i did i went in from the waistline by half an inch okay then i connected that with my long ruler to the edge you understand that's just to get rid of the zipper bulge there's another thing i'll still do to get rid of the zipper bulge but this is the first thing i'm doing i go in by half inch at the waistline of the zip allowance and connect that to the end so guys i later changed my mind because i realized that the 1.5 inch might be too much so i went in by one inch instead at the waist then i went in by half inch at the upside so i connected that half inch at the waist to the one inch i marked at the top I hope you understand this because our um, zip allowance is going to be 1 inch, no longer 1.5 inch. So I trimmed that out. Then guys, we're going to trim out our back neckline. If you can remember, our back neckline is what the first to the 1 inch up there. I'll trim that out. After which I'll trim down the shoulder. Okay, just follow me carefully. The next thing is to trim out the back armhole carefully and trim out the sides then after you trim out the sides you just you know trim out the end okay then there's one more thing we're going to do to get rid of the zipper bulge one more thing that we're going to do we're going to come down okay by half an inch at the back and connect that to the edge okay and that helps a lot to get rid of zipper bulge i've used this method a lot of times and i haven't had zipper bulge problems so i'll use my scissors to cut that out okay that looks nice so the next step is to trace out our front neckline and that's what i just did then i'll trim out the front armhole carefully carefully the next step is to cut out the skirt part and the first thing we need to know is how to fold our fabric. It's hip divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches or any allowance you wish to use. The first thing I'll do as usual is to mark out my starting line just to have an equal place where I take all my measurements from. I was trying my possible best to ensure that this thing shows very well because I don't know what the issue was. The first thing I would mark is half inch from the starting line. That half inch will serve as the allowance I'll use to join it to the half cut or the upper bodies. So guys, I want to quickly explain something before we proceed. My dress length is 39 inches, okay? Then the length of the upper bodies or half cut is 17 inches. To get my skirt length, I have to subtract 39 from 17 in order to get my 22 inches. Then the length of the skirt I'm working with without the Gathers is 12 
inches and the length of the girders that i'll now be using is 22 minus 12 which is 10 inches having marked our allowance at the top the next thing we're going to mark now is the length of the skirt which is 12 inches like we calculated so as usual i'm going to connect that to form a straight line after which i'll add half inch allowance that i will use to join the girders so i measured half inch and as usual i went ahead to connect the point the next thing i'm going to be marking is her waist measurement her waist is 32.5 divided by 4 which is about 8.125 that's what i'm going to mark then i'm going to mark 1.5 inch allowance then one inch for that as we did at the upper bodies then i'm going to mark her hip point right now her hip point which is from her waist to the widest part of her hips has 11 inches and that's what i'm marking right now i'll go ahead again and connect that to form a straight line okay after which i would mark her hip divided by four her hip is 45 divided by four which is about um 11 point something yeah 11 point something and that's what i marked then i also added 1.5 inch allowance and i connected that to the up part then at that edge i came down by five inches from the edge i came down by five inches and i also came in by 1.5 inches which is the allowance that i would be using to join that part so i came in by 1.5 inches and i drew it as a straight line okay then from that 1.5 inch point i'm going to use my curve to connect to the end okay to form what we saw at the thumbnail or what we saw in the picture so i'm going to go ahead and connect that the next thing i'm going to do is to bring out fabric for the back part okay and i'm going to go ahead and mark two inches from beginning to the end okay two inches from the beginning to the end on this part of the um fabric for the back part then i'm going to go ahead and connect that after connecting that i'm going to go ahead and place the front part on top of it okay so when i place it on top of it the next thing we're going to do is to form our back you know um zip allowance yeah our back zip allowance so what i'm going to do is to mark half inch there so that this matches with the upper part so i'm going to mark half inch at that point then at the hip line i'm going to mark 1.5 inches at the hip line okay and 1.5 inch at the down part and connect it now i'll use my curve driller to connect from that half inch at the top to the 1.5 inch at the hip line okay so that's exactly what i've just done and that's our zip allowance and our bomb bomb you know shape so i'll go ahead and cut out that point now cut out every other thing then cut out the back part and the starting line area and yeah we have our back the next thing we're going to do is to go back to the front part of the skirt and we're going to go down by 0.5 inches this is to get rid of the um, excess that is usually at the front okay so we're going to connect that with our curved ruler and use our scissors to cut that off you go down by 0.5 inch and connect that to the edge this is going to get rid of the excess that is usually found at that front Part. so it's going to lay nice and flat and fitted and we are done yep and here is our front and our back skirt part okay now it is time to cut out our gathers and from our calculation the length of the gathers we need is 10 inches but we will need 0.5 inch allowance to join this our gathers to the skirt part and we'll be needing one inch allowance to hem the base of our gathers and 10 inch plus the 1.5 inch allowance which we need is going to give us 11.5 inches and that is what you can see me measuring i got my 11.5 inches okay the next step is to measure the width of the gathers. The width of the gathers is really, really, really long. So I had to bring out my 120 inch tape to get it accurately. So I'll just fast forward this part and tell you what I got at the end. So guys, after measuring my gathers, I got 143 inches in width and that's what I'll be working with. 
guys i didn't want to bombard you guys with a very long tutorial so in our next video i'll be showing you guys how i joined the fabrics to achieve this beautiful dress stay tuned don't forget to subscribe it's going to be very very detailed that's why i separated it from this one okay and if you want to be the first to get the notification when i post the sewing part of this tutorial please hit the subscribe button and i'm definitely posting that tomorrow okay Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.